hello guys welcome to my channel uh, so it's been a while i have been going through the hacking stuff so today i have decided that i would be starting it again because because of you guys i saw some comments that you wanted some hacking stuff in my channel right here so today i'll be telling you the the you can say the vulnerability that's been haunting the wordpress community so this is a dos attack which could be done to pretty much every pretty much you can say every almost about uh, 90 percent wordpress uh, websites all over the world so i have installed here wordpress 4.9.4 and this is my test site right over here and let me show it's working fine i hope it is yeah it yeah it is working let's open the wp admin it's it's working so this is my lab environment so let's do a scan with wp scan so it's wp scan minus u for the url and it's test site.com yes so i have already done the scan i'll show you the results because it takes up some time so this says that there are some paths version that has been discovered so the main thing we are looking for is this one denial of service attack and it does give you some reference link that you can do with it so firstly we'll copy this up and show you what exactly it is so according to this vulnerability it's for 4.9.4 dos attack which has been uh, which is unpatched it it is affected all these versions and i don't know why wordpress is not patching it uh, second link uh, where is the second link Look right here and this is the uh, software uh, which uh, you can say this is the tool which you could you could use to just dos the attack it's called the dozer so it basically uh, sends a lot of requests to the uh, wordpress uh, site and it shuts down the server web server that is apache or anything like that so it's python file so uh, what else we've got we have got uh, I'll be showing you the code how you can just uh, fetch it and how you can just do whatever you want you can shut down the server so this is the code I've written here so here's a website it loads uh, load script.php it loads these components more gallery or something like that so if you go through this link you'll get a whole bunch of stuff right here which is I don't know what exactly I have to just go through it and look for it so in order to exploit it you need to just run the dozer first clone the dozer right here and uh, you could after cloning it just type python dozer in order to, type, to check that it's running or not so I've got Python version I'll be showing you oops oops so it's 2.7.14 so in you in order to uh, just uh, go through this tool you need this version specific version so let's start I have uh, written the command uh, rest of the parameters are same you just need to change the URL of the website so I'll be copying it and this minus t9999 is a thread the thread rate means i would be pushing 9999 threads per second on the web server so let's go ahead at the moment you can see the site is running okay i hope it is yes it is running so let's go ahead and do that and it started so we'll be looking at the web server i think i don't remember uh, i named it ansible uh, i think it's correct yes i hope so and this the attacker has started pushing up the threads and i don't think i would be able to connect through ssh because the server it 
which I think is gonna crash or something. It's loading, it's taking time to load. Let's wait for a while. And I'm not able to SSH to the server because it it has been you can say badly uh, the DDoS attack is successful and none of the service is running on server the server is completely down look I have okay I'll show you this uh, if I remember the password uh, hopefully it's working it's taking some time so about the vulnerability we are we would go here okay we'll go to the hacker news it's strange i can't even just ssh to the server it's so bad okay i was able to so and i'm not able to write on it it's it's gone <laughs> it's gone nuts the server has literally gone nuts okay I'm not able to get okay it's quite slow I don't know why oops hacker news can't load for some reason and the website can't load okay so I was able to debug the problem the problem was basically one of my VPN server was behaving stra strangely so here is the link that has been opened it's called the CVE 2018-6389 vulnerability so there is script load.ph which loads a few things a few set of things like gallery components and all so the, like I told you in order to find the vulnerability you need to just hit this link and like I have uh, just run the dozer right here so you can say there are a whole bunch of logs in the server itself like this is this this IP is hitting the server constantly it's hitting the server with 9900 threads per second uh, and the server is basically completely gone and it's not responding very well see the requests that are coming right now it's it's you can say huge imagine you are in production environment what would happen if whole of the server is down so i don't know when uh this uh vulnerability would be patched i heard there was a, a hot fix for this problem i would be sharing the link when i get uh, get it when i test it so this was the vulnerability that was discovered i'll be putting all the links and please keep in mind this is only for education purpose i'm not responsible if you just go through each and every website and make it offline or something like that i'm really not responsible this is for education purpose only so i will share i'll be sharing the links of these uh, vulnerabilities and what wordpress is doing uh, right now for it so uh, you can see the site is down it it's not responding the whole server is down actually it's not responding it's just generating log of some kind the excess logs that this is hitting nothing like that so thank you guys for watching this video uh, please like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you can receive the updates whenever I upload videos. Thank you very much.